Hello good people. Just want to take a moment to talk about our tomatoes and particularly these guys. Oops. Let's see if I can hold my camera. These guys right here, which are turned into basically trees. Um, we look at this and I'll flip you around here and we'll uh, show you. There are tons of flowers. There's tons of fruit. It's basically, I'll just back up to give you some scale. It's basically out of control. Oh. Your instinct would be to go, yay, there's so many flowers, I want to keep them all, I want as much fruit as possible. The reality is that's not actually a good idea. Um, what we need first and foremost for this plant to be successful is good airflow, so that we don't end up with fungal problems, powdery mildew, all those fun things you hear about in the garden all the time. Uh, we also want to make sure that light can penetrate, just like we, you, you would treat a tree when you prune a tree, you want to make sure that light and air can flow through the tree. Sorry, we have a visitor, or a visitor. Hello. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna get in there and clean some of this mess up. So if you look, let's flip you back around one more time. We've got these branches here. We've got these branches here. So you can see a little bit better from this side are just sticking way out, going on the ground. And if you get in here, it just looks like a really dense forest. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start trimming some of these longer pieces off that are laying on the ground to skirt it and get it up. And then we're going to get in the middle and see if we can't move some branches around, spread them out from each other, and if we can't, we'll go ahead and remove them. Ultimately, what that's going to do besides reduce our potential problem with fungus and, and airflow and sunlight issues is that we are also going to give the plant the opportunity to put the most that it can into the fruit that it does produce, which of course is going to improve the flavor and improve the quality of the fruit all around. So, remember, just because your tomatoes can become huge overgrown messes doesn't mean that they should be. So let's go ahead and clean them up and we will see you on the flip side. Have a great one.